Tuesday, May 15th, technique class. A couple things that we went over tonight were the basic bending and straightening of our legs in rhythm, okay? When we start with our legs closed, we wanna make sure that we have a nice turnout, meaning that our toes are pointed toward the corner of the room, not straight ahead. Our heels are together, our knees are together, our legs are together all the way up to our hips, okay? So we have a nice inner thigh awareness that's going to ground us and keep everything nice and clean. From here, we used our bodies to step out into an open position so that our feet end up shoulder width apart. And we worked on bending one leg and keeping the other one straight. Bending the other one and keeping the other straight. Emphasizing the inner thigh squeeze and being on the inside edge of our feet, okay? When we go forward in our rhythm walk, we're going to lead through our rib cage out in front of our bodies, pulling forward with the thigh, not the foot, the foot's gonna follow. We're going to land on a bent leg and then straighten, placing about 90 to 100% of our weight onto that front foot. We're going to settle the hip and then do the same thing with the other foot, pulling through with the body and the thigh, landing on a turned out foot, settling our weight and straightening the leg. When we go back, we keep ourselves forward as well. We're gonna pull forward through the rib cage, pulling back through our hips, bending inside edge of the foot, and straight. Keeping forward up here so that we can maintain the connection with our partner. Bend and straighten, bend and straight. okay? So forward and back have the same position in our bodies. We did a basic rumba box, and we go Forward bend, straight. Side bend, straight. Pulling this leg in, bend and straight. We're gonna go back, bend, straight. To the side, bend, straight. Pulling it in, bend and straight. And my most favorite piece of technique is our shoulders. Talking about our posture and our connection with our partner. We're going to pull them up so we know where we don't want them to be. Then we're gonna take them back so that our chest comes out and set them down. So our shoulders are now down and back. We should feel a pressure in between our shoulder blades and underneath our shoulder blades. And this is gonna open us up to have great, great posture and connection. Thank you so much.